the facts, stupid fast nation. How are you guys doing today? As you can see, got the Raptors to 60 out. We got a ton of things to accomplish in the Raptor today. So we're not gonna do much talking. We're gonna dive right into working on this thing. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you give me that like, share, and subscribe. Really helps the channel out, guys. And the parts, as you can see beside me, all of the stuff we're gonna be installing on the Raptor today is to get the chassis ready for when the cylinder arrives so that way we can finish up the top end and do a first start, hopefully, in the next video for the Raptor 660. All right, guys, so enough talking. Let's get to work. Guys, so the first thing we're gonna do today on the Raptor 660 is we are going to change out the OEM clutch. We've got a Tusk high performance clutch disc pack and heavy duty clutch spring kit for this thing. We're gonna go ahead and change that stuff out, uh, making make it a little bit more power in this thing. I definitely feel like the clutch is a necessary upgrade to be able to keep putting the power to the ground efficiently and effectively. So guys, I already took the time out of my schedule last night to go ahead and pre-soak the clutches in oil and also get the filter cracked loose so we could change that out and drain the oil in the engines. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, so we're gonna make this super simple. All we gotta do is take off the Nerf bar, the rear heel guard, the foot peg, the brake pedestal for the back brake, and then the entire cover and clutch cable. You should take that right off. We'll be able to access the basket. All right, guys, so before we finish putting this uh, clutch piece back onto the basket here, we've got a couple things we have to take care of. Number one, we put a tiny dab of red Loctite on the end of these bolts, so when we seat them in on the new springs, that they will stay tight, and during vibration and riding and high horsepower, these will not come off. And then also, on the gasket, I'm going to take some standard black RTV uh, Permatex that I get down at the local auto parts store and I actually do a light coating on this entire gasket It's my favorite way to seal gasketed surfaces like this um, That are prone to leaking down at the bottom which this case was actually super tight on the bottom four bolts uh, So that's what makes me think that there might be a tiny bit of warpage here So we're gonna go ahead and actually put some black RTV on this and hopefully it doesn't leak Thank you. 
So guys, while we're at it, Rocky Mountain actually hooked me up with one of these aluminum tusk front bumpers. So while we're in here, we're just gonna go ahead and change that out too. Really cleans up the front end look of this Raptor 660. So let's go ahead and get her done. Now that we got the bumper all squared away, I'll tell you guys, this thing looks incredible. If you guys are interested in getting something like this, all the links for all the parts in this ATV are in the description below. But man, look at that thing. It really, really makes the front end of this ATV pop. Then you're gonna take your old bumper and throw it right in the trash, because it's no freaking good. I'm just kidding, guys. It's actually a really good bumper. I'll probably put this up on the shelf for later, so. Now guys, two things up here in the front of the quad we gotta address. One of them is the headlight bezel. Um, I noticed this thing is pretty sketch. So we're gonna go ahead and swap that out. I got brand new. And then also the reverse switch, uh, the mount is actually broke for that. So we have a steel mount that we should be able to remount this thing to the chassis as well. All right guys, so now that we got the headlight and reverse switch installed, we can move up to the handlebars. I have a brand new set of genuine Yamaha handlebars. I'm actually not sure if they're genuine or not, but I have a brand new set of handlebars and this really cool mod quad handlebar clamp. Uh, super shiny, adds a little bling, but that's not why I got it guys. I got it because it's a better holder for the key switch as well as the uh, temperature, neutral, and reverse lights will go in the bottom of this as well. 60 bucks, the little aluminum polished, will add a nice touch, you get rid of that piece of junk plastic thing that they put on the, on the junky OEM ones. And then also, we have some Chinese levers and a clutch cable and brand new grips to really make this thing shine, so.
right guys, so now that we got the front end squared away on the Raptor 660, we're gonna go ahead and direct our attention to the rear end of the Raptor 660. I've got some 1 8 inch thick plate steel here, as well as, I believe this is a two inch outer diameter, or it might be one and five eighths piping. Uh, I'll measure it later, but regardless, this is a good size for a rear grab bar, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna custom make a rear grab bar. So let's get it. 